Proximity voice chat. Yeah, it's real. And so is this video. So let's jump right into it. Now you might be wondering, how do I enable it? Good news, I've got you covered. You'll need to use a third party app and there are only two I'd recommend. Project MCBE Proxy VC. Works on any device with a mic and speaker. It's simple and efficient. Voicecraft. A bit more advanced and complex, but it's also discontinued for the latest versions. So, we'll focus on the first one. Project MCBE Proxy VC. Don't worry. I'll guide you step by step on how to set up proximity voice chat in Minecraft Bedrock so you and your friends can talk to each other on literally any device. Now, you might think this feature uses a mod or add-on, but it actually doesn't. So if it's not a mod, how does it even work? Well, it's surprisingly clever. It uses third-party software that connects different web services like Skyway and TCP Exposer to make proximity chat possible. Here's the breakdown. Skyway acts as the main voice chat system that lets players talk to each other. TCP Exposer functions like a server bridge. It connects Skyway to your Minecraft world or server linking everything together. That's the basic concept of how Project Make B Proxy VC brings proximity voice chat to bedrock. Now that you know how it works, let's jump into the setup and configuration. First, open your preferred search engine and search for Minecraft Bedrock Proximity Chat. You can also click the link provided in the description. Once you're on CurseForge, scroll down and click the link that redirects you to the Streamlit Configuration page. Now that you're on the Configuration site, scroll down and click Advanced Settings. Here, you'll see that you need to create both a TCP Exposer and a Skyway account for it to work properly. Next, open a new tab and search Skyway NNT. Or again, simply use the link in the description. Sign up if you don't have an account yet. Unlike me, Suppers, I already have one logged in. Make sure to remember your password, as it's very important. Once logged in, you'll see your application ID and secret key. Copy them, as you'll need them later. After that, open another new tab and search for TCP Exposer or use the link in the description. When you land on the homepage, you might notice that it's in Japanese. To translate it, click the three dots in your browser and choose Translate. It should then switch to your preferred language. Next, click Log In in the top left corner and create an account. Once you've signed up, you'll be redirected to your personal homepage. Go to Subdomains and create two subdomains of your choice. You can name them anything you want. Once you've done that, go back to the Streamlit configuration link and fill in the blanks under Advanced Settings, using the information you copied earlier. After everything is filled out, click Download Config File to save your configuration. Next, return to CurseForge and scroll down further. You'll find another link that asks for a room ID. We'll come back to that part in a minute. For Android users, make sure to download and install background support. For other devices, you can use the web service instead. Now, open your search engine and split screen it, or use floating windows with Minecraft. In Minecraft, go to Settings, General, then enable WebSockets and disable encrypted WebSockets. After that, create or join a Minecraft world, invite your friends and go back to the Streamlit app. Click Start Proximity VC. When it starts, you'll see a slash connect command appear. Copy this command and paste it into Minecraft and have your friends do the same simultaneously. Finally, go back to the app or web service and paste your room ID and gamer tag, the ones shown in the slash connect command output. When opening the downloaded app, make sure to use split screen or floating windows mode. Once everything is set, you should now be able to hear your friends when they're nearby and lose audio when they're far away, just like true proximity chat. 